So the final race of the day for me is going to be the Chanel Farmer Novices Hurdle. So five races I've done today, they've all been hurdles. Not very often. Five races to kick. They've all been over the timber. This is another grade one. This is a two mile novice. So it's a precursor to the Supreme Novices for next week. Last in peace, Leon Van Rensburg lost to the Horizon Joshua Sutherland, Supreme David Hoodie, Cadrona Granger, Derek Hinton, Misty Mountain, David Robertson, Movie Dancer, David uh, Hooley, Poikatsi, Leon Van Rensburg, Saga in Alice for Derek Hinton, and Trapani for Darren Thompson. All in and away. Saga in Alice. Looks like it's going to be another one of those Hollywood front runners. Eric Hinton fast becoming their Satyam Sandra Sagarin of the National Hunt scene. With all these front running horses that don't get caught very often. And Saga in Alice has gone off into the lead with a lead of about four lengths to Powercatsy in second. Lost to the horizon third as they get to the first, which they're all safely over. Saga Alice is that shows the way. So lost to the horizon in Power Catsy and Supreme. These big grade one championship novice races normally have big fields, don't they? But they seem to get big fields in novice races in the SO world, or maybe it's to do with the novices being able to get in the, all, the, all the handicaps so they don't run them in the novice races because they just get dominated by the big stables as you can see from here we've got the top notches in and without being disrespectful Derek Hinton's in there as well the first to admit that he's not quite as good on the jumps as he is on the flat but if you look at it you've got the leading four trainers and then David Robertson who's only about Sixth or seventh on the list as well. So, of the top six numbers, wise there's only Craig Beckwith and me missing, and we're so far behind the top four. It doesn't really matter, but the top four have got um, the field between them here, really. As they get over the fourth, two for Leon, two for Darren, and two for David Hooley. You see, these novice races really are geared all the big stables and of course Josh as well who is the runaway leader he's only got one in but I can argue he only needs one most times so lost to the horizon is in the lead oh, Sagaring Alice and then Power Cats here last in peace with Trapani and Supreme I do remember some time ago interviewing John Morgan for a old preview show about I don't know, seven or eight seasons ago. And he did actually admit to me at that point that he makes his best horses novices because the more grade one races for them to win. Then it's Saga and Alice in the lead. I'm pretty sure that was John Morgan anyway. It may have been somebody else. Apologies to John if it wasn't, but I think it was. Anyway, lost to the horizon is in the lead. And Saga and Alice in second as they get over the second last. And Supreme and Misty Mountain lost to the horizon. He's kicking on again on the inside though. Lost to the horizon. He's going to come down to the final two furlongs. Just about in the lead with one more flight to take. But Supreme is starting to wear him down on the outside. And Supreme now goes half a length up. It's Supreme going to come into this final flight in the lead. From Lost to the Horizon in second. Misty Mountain is in third. Better jump though by the Josh Sutherland horse. Lost to the Horizon on the inside. Now Supreme trying to fight back on the flat. They've got half a fur on to go. It's Lost to the Horizon and Supreme. But Lost to the Horizon is going to be strong enough. It's another one. for oh, Joshua Sutherland takes it pretty cosily in the end. Up towards line. It's when it lost to the Horizon. Trapani was second. Bowakatsi third. And then Misty Mountain. And I think... Derek Hinton's horse may have dropped out the back with one of the others. And it's lost to the horizon that takes it. 66 to 1. I'm going to book you offering 66 to 1 on a Joshua Sutherland horse in a grade 1 event. Would not stay in business very long in the real world, would he? Anyway, there you go. Lost to the horizon wins it. Trapani second for Darren Thompson. Power Catsy Leon van Rensburg third. Misty Mountain for David Robertson was a fourth. And Supreme for David Hooley was fifth.